Welcome guys, I'm Dingsy and you're watching Alphabet TV. Well, we're gonna start with the let's play of episode 4, Dark Room of Wife is Strange. Let's go. I mean, we just finished episode 3. Previously on Life is Strange. Whoa. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Don't ever touch me again, freak! Freak. Let's talk about your superpower. Let's not. What are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now. It won't work. I know this isn't pleasant for any of us. Miss Caulfield, please, tell us everything. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. That's Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Welcome to my domain. Let's find what we want and beat it. Max, you better come check out these files. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. Listen, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank. Yeah. Being more than a friend. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? No, you don't. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? Ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> Hello? Are you even listening, Maxine? This is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Max Caulfield. Hold on. Chloe, you have a visitor. And Mark was like, holy shit. Yep. That happened. Damn. It's a story-based game that features player choice, the consequences of... All your in-game actions and decisions will impact the past, present, and future. Choose wisely. Oh god. Let's go. Episode 4, Dark Room. Where do we even start now? Can we even talk to Koi? He was intubated. I think I saw a tube. So peaceful on the beach. Then again, it's like in Terminator, they show the bikes. And then, wow. Just wow. Those were some fucking big whales, like, what the? Dark room. Okay, enough teasing. Let's go. Wow. Do I look younger? Or is it just because of my clothes? They're just gonna leave them there? I mean, they can make a lot of money with, like, art and stuff. I mean, why would the whales hunt for? It's... Weird, hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. It was nice that you sent me actual letters. I did? It's more than any of my other friends have done. 
And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. It's so Max. So pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. You deserve the best stationery. Probably easier to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a bitchy way. Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Oh, you have no idea what awkward uh, gonna become pretty now. Pretty much, yeah. Look, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. Oh. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. Those beached whales are so sad. Yeah, that's not disturbing at all. Feel. At least I'm alive here with you. I think it's time we tell her and just fucking. You're a real survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. Where's my mouse? There we go. Are you okay to talk about the accident? We never actually have, huh? Nope. There's not much to say. Some prick in an SUV cut me off and I flew into a ditch. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and... And that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. Damn. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I, I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. You mean Rachel? You mean Rachel Amber? When was the last time you talked to her? Uh, never. I just read about her in the news. I didn't even know her name. You did? This is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. Don't say that. I'm not trying to bum you out. It just seems like Arcadia Bay is having a meltdown. I know things seem out of control, but... As long as we're together, I don't feel afraid. Oh my god, Maxine, tell her. Hanging out with you makes me her. feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe. I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. That was wrong. You're my best friend. Max, thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word, no offense. Wow. None taken. Can we even refer to this shit? I guess we can, but we need a photo. The one we took of him and her father. Uh, of her and her father. I don't know. I'm confused. Shall we do this on our own? We can't. We kissed Koi. He's all we have. The only one we can sh share our secret with. Our secret with. Can't even talk. Pretty high tech lair. Feels wow. like a high tech cell. But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. I know it's hard for them. They're grateful you are here with them. Yeah. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Pathetic, I know. Chloe. <sighs> 
You're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive. When you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. And I need to change uh, something. Can you, can you bring me some water? Come on. Can't even mute because of the fucking controls. Use this control. We'll gaze that. There we go. <coughs> I can't do it back. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. <coughs> now let's do it. Okay. So I can like clear my throat without getting recorded. Okay. Snow globes. Oh. Snow globes are taking over. Oh, the snow dough. I guess not everything changed. The deer's still there. Teddy bear? Hello, Chloe. <laughs> she likes fluffy animals now. She's like totally different. Was that it's nice my parents sent a card at least. You know, we love you, and you in our hearts and thoughts. We hope to see you smiling face again. Soon. I wonder who this is. Kind of a generic card. I'm so sorry for what happened. Know that I'm here for you. If you need anything, I hope you feel better, and I hope to see you again, Megan. Who the fuck is Megan? I wasn't very available to Chloe. Real nice. I hope you're well, love, Max. This is my letter. No, At least no. I sent road trip selfies to Chloe. I'm sure that made her feel great. Wow, Max. Man, Joyce and William built a whole new bathroom for Chloe. They're so great. Gas mask optional? I should offer to put makeup on for Chloe. Not that I can, but it would be fun. That is so incredible. And she can browse cat videos on the web. Ooh, Chloe ooh, is ooh. still a punk at heart. <laughs> but she can't stage dive anymore. That's so cool that Chloe has made friends online. Is that IRC? Looks like it. Okay. Whoa. Chloe can totally control her computer. It's so great people get this high-tech help. Yep. Mouth control joystick. There's the old Chloe. Instead of handing Chloe a bong, I'm <laughs> feeding her water. Did I give her a choice? I should fucking tell Drink her. A buttercup. Or I should fucking go back again. Oh man, no wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? I wish I could punch your face right now. A podcast? Dude, I am a pod in a cast. Boring. Oh. Ouch. It was just a thought. I know you're <sighs> just trying to help. <sighs> yeah, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. It seems like we were kids in another life. To me, it, it seems like yesterday we were little brats here, watching Power Rangers go, and go Power destroying Rangers. the kitchen. Oh my god, we covered everything in flour, even my parents. <laughs> that was so hilarious. <sighs> but a long time ago. You're the only person that I grew up with who visits me. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. Which, Which friends did you hang out with the most? Megan Weaver, but you don't know her. She was cool. Was? But after my accident, she was too cool for school. Oh. I know I wasn't around much. No excuses. I'm a loser. But I am trying to make things right. How? 
Dude, you're not super max. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. But I am That's super what my max. parents are for. They love you so much. I know. My mom and dad are so cute. They always pop in here and make sure everything's okay with me. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max, the accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks and the medical bills are fucking insane. Oh God. Can they pay all the bills? <sighs> no way. They keep the numbers away from me, but it doesn't take much research to find out I'm costing my parents almost a million dollars a year. Wow. Chloe, you're priceless. Uh, <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> you are such a geek. That's why I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. A million dollar a year? What, what do you want to watch? Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. I always cry at the end. Aww. Plus, you know, I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. Now let's get this show on the road. And you better not fall asleep on me like you always do when we watch movies. I remember, Max. Swear I won't fall asleep. Not when you're here. Not yet. This is so sad. I'll use a tissue. Thanks. I uh, think you missed a grain stuck in my eyeball. <laughs> Hard to believe how just a little sand can cause such a big mess. It's like that Chinese proverb. A spark can start a fire that burns the entire prairie. You know, like the butterfly thing. <laughs> so I've heard. Oh, I know. I call this. Let's snoop around. That's what we all Nothing do. Nothing but medical supplies. What else did you expect? Damn. She has to use a lot of lotion to keep her blood circulating. There's the old Chloe. I guess we looked at that already. Okay. Makeup, wheelchair. I still can't believe I put Chloe in that chair. Yep. Can't believe we're still letting Snow globes her are taking over. Live like this. Go back ASAP. So we're searching for the DVD out there. We go. Aha, here's the DVD. That's a serious heat lamp. Everything is Does serious. Does Chloe here. look at the garden and think about her childhood? She can't even feel the grass now. Okay, hold up. We need to check. Not. Where are the pictures? That we need to take. Wow. Super strange. Can't even take a picture now. I don't have a camera with me. Chloe was a straight A student. She could have gone to any college. Damn. What a bastard. I totally should have let Chloe steal your bullshit fund. Even if it wasn't another reality. Oh, because of the handicap shit. God damn it, we should have stole it. But I felt back. Bad. Despite what? everything, they're still a happy family again. It's cool that in this reality, Chloe really loves skating too. That's her. At least Chloe doesn't weigh that much. Oh man. She has to use that ventilator just to breathe. Yeah, full body paralysis. God damn it. Knock on wood. Oof, this is depressing. Let's start the DVD. What are you watching? Blade Runner? Let's go.
Wie sieht der Typ aus, Leib? Yep, I can see it. Oh well. What a depressing start. We need to fix this ASAP. Oh. Man, when I wake up, I could barely move. Because of the awkward position I sleep in. It's not like she can push me away. <coughs> I cannot believe you fell asleep so fast. How dare you? <laughs> I know you were beat down after the day with me, and Blade Runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night. Uh, do you do you think Deckard is a replicant? Sorry, Spoilers. I can see you're not wide awake like me. No, I'm sorry I crashed so hard. Were you okay? I do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me. You are a bitch in the morning. It's the company I keep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yesterday was such a blast. It was you great don't say. seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates jumping and running through the forests again. It meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Fuck. Um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you pretty please go upstairs and get my my morphine injector in the bathroom? Oh morphine God. injector? It's uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, my parents keep this wag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. Like a pirate, right? I'm on. Should we just tell your parents that you need it? Oh God. Okay, we'll do this next time. So. That's it for now guys, rate the video, follow the channel, Dingsy here, signing off from Avebat TV with the Let's Play of Wife Strange Episode 4, Dark Room. Till next time.